You are my heart. You are my life. You are my eyes. I love you from this eye to this eye. I love you so deeply you live in the belly of my eye. I think you're so amazing that I wear you like a crown on my head. These are all terms of endearment in Arabic. The language and the culture is so full of expressions of love, it's unbelievable. Was there ever a time when you tried so hard to do the right thing in spite of such unbelievably difficult circumstances? This is a story of Iraqis trying to choose hope and inclusiveness and love under unbelievable pressure. I lived with them in Iraq for 20 months as a relief worker. Iraqis feel honored if you drop by their house unannounced. If you compliment them on their shirt or their jewelry, they'll give it to you on the spot. And they will never, ever let you pay for something. Iraqis have been through a lot of traumas in recent years. They're still dealing with violent conflict and sort of a climate of always feeling afraid for your safety. Young people, smart young people, are graduating and they can't find jobs. Even electricity and water is hard to come by. On October 1st, Iraqis went to the streets and started protesting peacefully. Basically, they said, we no longer want a system that is made to divide us into our groups, Sunni, Shia, Christian, Kurdish. We want a society that's inclusive of everybody and functions so that we can all live well. Thousands and thousands of people are camped out in Baghdad and other cities making each other food and painting murals on the walls, watching the Iraqi national soccer team win on the big screen. It's an exciting moment when people feel like they can be part of making this the Iraq that they know and love in their heart. But fear is such a strong force. Militia groups and security forces have been attacking protesters in horrible ways. Snipers on the roof that'll shoot an unarmed person out of nowhere. They'll shoot rocket-propelled gas canisters as big as a soda can that'll go into people's heads. There have been full-scale massacres of unarmed civilians in Karbala and other places. They also kidnap people. Many are still missing. Others turn up having been killed in unspeakable ways. I have been blown away by the courage of these young people. Somehow, they are still, in spite of everything that's happening, they are still rejecting violence and sectarianism. It's the strength of the human spirit on full display. But the pressure is building and building. It's getting worse. The purpose of the violence is to play on people's survival instincts and force them in to defend themselves violently and get drawn into an armed conflict. Right now, Iraqis are at a really important fork in the road. Either they continue to reject violence and choose hope and take care of each other and achieve something historic for their country, or the violence succeeds in dividing them and drawing them in, and maybe Iraq becomes like Syria. To me, this isn't about politics. Personally, I don't support any particular side or party. I pay attention to who are the Iraqis that are engaging in the process peacefully and constructively with a mindset of respect for the rights of everyone and who's not. But the reason I'm telling you this story is because I know the heart and the uh, spirit of Iraqis, and it's beautiful. And I don't think we're helpless. There are many tiny things we can do to support people's ability to choose peace in this difficult situation. Do you like having friends around you who care about you? Reach out to Iraqis, especially if you don't know them. Give them a well wish or even hang out with them. Caution they will feed you. Do you like beautiful art and music? You would not believe the creativity of the protesters. I've included some links to some amazing paintings and artwork and music that you can learn more about what's happening that way. Do you like to laugh while you learn new stuff? I highly recommend an Iraqi TV show by Ahmed al-Bashir. I put that link in there too. Do you like cold drinks and internet memes? Take a can of soda, put it against your head, then post a photo or video. Go to hashtag Iraqi Soda Challenge to see what it's all about. And finally, please share what's happening in Iraq. Learn about the situation, make up your own mind, talk about it with friends, post it, just don't be silent. You may not know Iraqis like I do yet, but they are truly amazing, beautiful people. If you are someone who has ever wanted to make the world better in some way, now is a great opportunity.